There are seven things you need to know to start earning anywhere from 250 all the way up to $5,000 per day from posting simple videos on Snapchat Spotlight. Let's not waste any time getting into them. <laughs> to begin earning money from posting on Snapchat Spotlight, you're first going to need a public profile. To get started, click the avatar in the top left corner of your screen and scroll all the way down to public profile. Click create a public profile and follow all of the instructions provided by the app. Once you've created a public profile, viewers are able to find you via the Spotlight page where they can check out your profile and even subscribe. Since viewers are likely to browse your profile once you start posting, I would suggest using a professional headshot as your display photo. You should also create a bio that lets your viewers know you have more quality content coming soon. This makes them more likely to subscribe which drives more traffic to your page. <laughs> Since posting my video about earning $20,000 from Snapchat Spotlight, the most common question I've received is, how do I know what to post? I have a few suggestions when it comes to choosing content to post on Snapchat Spotlight that will help you get picked up by the algorithm and start earning a very sizable passive income. The first method is scrolling through your entire video album and favoriting anything that catches your attention or makes you laugh. It can be anything that's under a minute and has good lighting so the viewer knows exactly what they're watching. Start uploading these videos from your favorited folder until you run out of content. Snapchat often chooses to pay for videos that are most original, so choosing videos from your own album will guarantee originality, which increases your chances of getting paid. Another option is to scroll through the Feature tab on the Snapchat Lens search bar. When you use a lens to film your videos, it shows up as a clickable feature at the bottom of your video on the Spotlight feed. If you use the filter to create something unique that others will want to try, it's likely they will click the filter. This is beneficial because it gives your video a boost on the algorithm. When deciding what to post, another important thing to remember is the length of your videos. Videos have to be more than 6 seconds and less than 60 to be submitted to the Spotlight feed. And watch time plays a major role in determining how much you're going to be paid. The longer they're watching your video, the longer they're on the app, the more you're going to get paid. So try creating content that viewers will either watch until the end or re-watch a second time. Once you submit a video, it can take up to an hour for it to go live on the Spotlight feed. If it doesn't follow their terms and conditions, it may not be approved and the status will show up as not selected. If this happens and you think the video is good quality, try uploading again. Sometimes the second attempt will get approved. <laughs> Another question I've received quite a few times is how often should I be posting? I've tried out multiple numbers to see where I had the most success, and the sweet spot seems to be around 3 uploads per day. It may seem like a lot, but keep in mind these videos can be as short as 6 seconds in length. If you have a day where you can film 10 videos, try saving some to post throughout the week. Being consistent with posting will also help boost views and engagement because Snapchat will start seeing you as a reliable creator. 3 uploads per day may be the most reliable approach, but you can get paid for uploading just one video ever. As long as it's good quality and something that viewers will stay watching. <laughs> Once your videos go live, you now have to wait and see if they'll achieve what's called the view threshold. Depending on how all videos perform on Spotlight during that given day, the view threshold can increase or decrease. It seems to typically lie somewhere around the 200,000 views per 24 hour range. And you have 7 days for your content to reach this threshold before it's no longer eligible for payment meaning no matter how many views you get after day 7, you're not going to get paid for that video. For this reason, one week after posting, if your video still hasn't achieved 75,000 views per 24 hours, you should remove the video from your profile. As long as it's your own video, you can repost it as many times as you want and still be eligible for payment. Give it some time before reposting though because Snapchat does pick up on reposts and it will stop driving views to your video. <laughs> Once you post and surpass that view threshold, it's time to wait for your notification. One week after your video qualifies, you should get a notification saying, New Spotlight Payout. Congratulations. Check your My Payouts in profile to see how much you've earned. And since they pay in crystals, you're going to have to convert them to 10 US cents per crystal to determine how much you're going to earn. I'm currently waiting on 31,449 crystals, which works out to be $3,144.90. Pending crystals will take 14 days to become available for payout, so this is a good time to register your HyperWallet account. HyperWallet is just a third party platform that Snapchat uses to pay out. Registering for this account is as simple as filling out a tax form and providing contact information. You send the info to a specified email and in no time your wallet's ready to go. Be sure to provide the information exactly as it shows on your ID because you can't change it once it's submitted and discrepancies may lead to you not getting your payment. The best part about completing this step is you only have to do it once. After everything is registered, payouts are as simple as clicking a withdraw button and waiting another 14 days for the balance to become available in your hyper wallet. 
You can then transfer it directly to PayPal immediately for a small fee or to your bank account, which takes three to five days. If you've learned anything from this video, all I ask is that you hit that subscribe button. And to learn about how you can make money on other social media platforms, check out this video right here. Let me know what you'd spend your Snapchat money on in the comments. Till next time, peace, hoop, and dough balls.